So when it comes to FC25, FC24, FIFA's career mode has always been second, third, maybe even fourth on the list of something they improve. You have got the manager career and also the player career. Newly added this year, we have got an icon career mode that you can play as said icon. So if you go into the new player, we'll use the created one. You can obviously create your own man and woman. You can play as a real player and you can also select from a few icons. If you've obviously done the ultimate edition, you will get the likes of R9 and all of said players. If you've got standard edition, you can get X amount. So you can play through the career and naturally you can put them in any team. It's not quite what everybody had in mind. Maybe trying to see Rude Van Nistelrooy from a 16 year old again, just ripping it up and re right in his Man U career would be pretty nice but it is just as the 94 striker you'll do a whole career with that card or that player so it's half and half to what everybody wanted and you can't use them in manager mode which is a little bit of a shame but the real thing is the actual manager career this year now it's definitely not necessarily got any different to be honest and and the way that you'd kind of make your best career mode is totally down to what you want you can obviously go with your initial squad so you could go and change everything you could go make cards you uh, could go make icons make players that have retired and bring them back in and completely rechange your squad but that will take a lot of time pc is going to be great for that because there is obviously mods and people that could do it much quicker or you can just use your normal squad the downloaded squad of what actually is in football right now then we have the choice between a new manager and playing as a real manager. Now they have got a solid selection, like you can obviously go into the Premier League. Um, you can't obviously go into the Championship here, but you can use most of them. Obviously, Ligue just PSG, Dortmund's for Germany. You do have a few of the Indian managers. You then go Italy, you've got quite a few. Norway's got some Poland, Portugal, Republic of Ireland, Republic of Korea. You've got some rest of worlds, Romania, Saudi Arabia, which obviously has got quite a few of the big boys in them. We've got Scotland, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Turkey, and Argentina, Australia, Austria. Okay, there's a lot more. So you, you get my drift here. I thought there would be less. But there is quite a few that you can go with. Now, obviously, a lot of people will go with the Prem. Um, this is just if you wanted a real manager as well. So you can still create a manager. I just find it funny that if you was to go, like, for instance, with a, a Sean Deitch, um, you can obviously go ahead and what you can do is you can change, is it not change the team? You can change the manager of how he looks, which is just funny as ever. I don't even know if you, can you change him? Oh, it might have only been the other one then. It's weird because I was having a look through all of this just to see what the actual stuff was. Oh, okay. I, I missed, totally misread that. So let's go back to England because it'd be funnier on Deutsch, to be honest. So if you go to Deutsch, you could change the outfit of him. I just find it funny that you can completely redo everything. So if we go for the outer top here and if we go for, can we go for a non-option surely at the top? We can literally get him in shorts and a t-shirt. I don't know why it's funny. It's it's just so weird that you can change that. And I'm not necessarily a massive uh, career mode person. So maybe you could have done this last year. I, I don't know. It's just, it's something that's just so strange to have different managers looking different. Oh God, he's spinning. But that, that's just one little extra bit of nugget there. Um, obviously, you can go for that. You can obviously go for your creative manager as well. So if you wanted to go in here, you will obviously have a lineup that you can go with. And you can pick anybody you want. It will give you just the generic stuff. You then have your uh, kind of full outline that you can go with. And you can pick one of them. You then obviously have the face and everything. So it's basically like a career mode anyway. Then you can obviously change. And there will be more customizable options in the created manager. So for instance, you can have glasses and then also you will have ties as well there is also i want to say it might not be in the manager you might not be able to get tattoos on the manager but you could definitely go with the glasses and, and different stuff like that that you can unlock through different seasons and i'm assuming as we go through the different months we should be able to get more and more but realistically this is a very very uh, kind of small part in a career mode now you can create your club you could do this in previous years and basically if you're creating your club you are taking away a club from somebody else so for instance if i was to take 
uh, Liverpool away, then obviously I would replace Liverpool in the Premier League and they wouldn't play. So it's almost like you've taken their spot as your created name. You can obviously then go through. And uh, so, for instance, if we just show you just so you can see, because these are always options and you could do multiple career modes. It's not necessarily a big deal. Say we were to get rid of Liverpool here. We then have to select our rival, which obviously could be anybody. We can literally pick any of the Premier League teams. We then obviously have advanced through the stadium, the crest, all of that. But then you also have the overall rating. So naturally, if you're going to the Premier League, you probably don't want to start off on a one star, especially if you've got the difficulty level quite high. You want to start probably if you want to make a challenge. Maybe like three and a half to four, I think, would still be enough. You can obviously then choose through veteran, season, balance, and young, and then also very young as well. You then have the transfer budget to make it easier or harder, and then you've got your board expectations as well. You then go into the career settings. You can obviously change the name of everybody. You can go through their athleticism, their type, and also then you could go in and change a bit of attributes as well. So if you wanted to make a team for yourself, like an icon team, or you wanted to make like a, a Liverpool 2001 squad. You can do it. It just takes a little bit of time. So that's that's something you can do if you want to try that. You can even just change the name. So it doesn't have to necessarily be what the actual player looks like to the point. But you could change the name in that way. Or you can pick a team that's already going. So you can go for an authentic club. Now, when it comes to this, it all depends on what you're looking for. You can either try and do the objectives that we get constantly in FC25 now for the season pass. If you're an ultimate team player, clubs or manager player career uh, mode player, then obviously you have objectives that you can do for XP for either uh, kind of items for your manager and also for your club player. Or you get packs for ultimate team depending on if you're doing it or not. Um, so if you want to make it real easy, you could just go and go and be like Man City or something. Incredible amount of budget. It's obviously got a big club worth and you've already got a very good amount of players in there already. So that's going to make life a lot easy. So that's that's kind of your easy start. A lot of people, especially if you are from the UK, will normally start in an England 2 squad or a, a League 2 squad. So this is going to be minimal budget. You need to really be kind of on it. And it all depends on the difficulty setting as well. That's something we'll get into. So for instance, if you wanted to go for like the lowest transfer budget you could possibly go for, by the looks of it, you're looking around a million, um, give or take. So we've got Bromley here with a million. Club worth is only two as well. Um, We've got the domestic, the continental success is very, very low. So we could go into somewhere like that. We could obviously change a little bit of the home stand and stuff like that. Then obviously when we go into the career settings of this, you've obviously got transfers, you want active, same with scouts, same with training plan. The difficulty level, level is going to be massive for you because this is going to set the tone of a career mode. Now, when it comes to a career mode, the hardest point is getting this right, and I think what it should do, and I know they do have it somewhere, is kind of like that AI difficulty where it follows and tracks how good you're doing. So it makes it a challenge, but it doesn't go crazy because I guarantee I could I could probably win on professional with this team. And because you're going against teams of the same sort of caliber, it's not necessarily a big win. Um, most teams, if you've got a decent team, you should be able to do world class. And then if you've got like a Man City, a, a Liverpool and Arsenal, I reckon a legendary should be able to be possible as well. Because the big thing with the AI is they are specific with how they move. So yes, there is a certain level of difference in each match. They do the same things consistently. When, for instance, they take a corner, it's in every single FC, FIFA, what have you. If in a corner that they come short, 100% of the time, they will pass that. So that's already something you know. You don't have to worry about the cross then. If they don't come short, you know he's going to cross it in. So it's just little bits of that when they pass, when they turn. You can figure it out, and it's why it's really hard to get away from that that kind of AI difficulty then going online because you're so used to a set pattern. But then I can't go into ultimate. If I'm winning on legendary consistently, I'm, I'm four years in, I've managed to get an 85 rated team, I'm in a championship for whatever. Um, it's going to be then difficult because ultimate is just a next level ball game. So I really wish there was like an AI difficulty where it basically goes up and down. I know they had it, so it's it's I don't know where it's gone here. You've got financial takeover. You can 
can obviously put some money into your team if you really wanted to make it easy to start with to get. You can obviously put in X amount as well, which is quite nice. And then you have your board expectations as well. You could also put no sack in. So if you wanted to pursue this for the whole time and maybe you're going on a higher difficulty, say I'm trying to do this on legendary and sometimes you'll lose. You can go with a no sack into so you know that your career mode is safe. Then you've obviously got the match lengths. I'd normally keep it to like three or four, depending on how much time you want to do. Uh, youth tournament match length, uh, it, again, it doesn't make too much problem. Uh, full potential on youth players. Then you've obviously got the classic or simulation. I would just go with the classic personally. Personally, I like uh, the wind effect. Um, again, it's trying to make it more and more uh, real. You can obviously go for weather effect as well. I think that's the big thing I like from a career mode that you'll never get online. When you have rain, when you have uh, snow, that's going to be a big one uh, that you'll just never get that experience on Ultimate Team because honestly, I don't want it. I, I really don't want Ultimate Team snow, rain. I don't want that ball to fly underneath my keeper's legs as much as it already does. Training wise, we've got training plans on. Obviously, we've got the default stuff. Everything needs to be normal here. Uh, transferring and scouts, again, as much as you want. You can go for a little bit more stricter transfer approaches if you really want. I would just keep it loose because it's not necessarily a big deal. Scouting search players, fine. And also the speed's fine. We've obviously got the board expectations of no sacking. International jobs, yes. Europeans, yes. And then you can obviously change to your uh, currency if you're in euros, dollars, or sterling. Obviously, I'll go into sterling and then you've got your financial takeover you could do whatever you want with so that would kind of be the generic settings and picking the team is is kind of the biggest deal that you can go with to be honest because that is going to be where you go with your club for the whole time and like i said you can pick multiple it's not like you have to have just one career mode um so you could make yourself a challenge here or you could just stick yourself random you could literally hold this close your eyes say stop and you've ended up in germany you could then do it between the three leagues as well and you can hold up and say three two one stop and you're in bundesliga too and you could do the exact same or you can get a number generator rather than being so creative with this and that is another way that you could do it and then because you're a manager you can move around it's not necessarily that you have to stay with this team realistically if you're in the english league too you kind of want to bring the club through that's kind of the only reason why you would do it i don't know if anybody's actually half a star that would be interesting as well i think ever oh there it is so you could go and be accurate to stanley and take them from half a star and see if you can get them into five star Again, it's going to be interesting. So I think there's loads of things you can do with career mode. When it comes to actually playing the career mode, um, again, it depends on what you're looking for uh, in terms of the actual gameplay uh, mechanics of it because you can do highlights, you can simulate. It depends on how much of involvement you want. Plus then like the transfers and stuff like that. Predominantly, I only do it for the objectives at the moment. Normally towards the end of the game, I might give it more of a go. But personally, Ultimate Team just takes too much of my time. Um, obviously, with the manager careers, you've got all of these to complete that you can do um, if you want XP for different stuff like that. And you'll also have weekly objectives coming out as well. You'll also have them for the player objectives. So they're just little extra bonus that you can get during your career. And then pretty much you're ready to go when it comes to setting up everything you want to just make yourself familiar with everything when it comes to going into stuff like this as well make sure you are going through all of the settings because i find sometimes like it would start me in the squad hub here but then i wouldn't look and see uh, the tactical preset all the way down you can go training plans you've got development plans you've got coaches to hire tactics to do there is a lot that you can get involved with when it comes to a career and i do think if they ever were to do like a football manager fc 26 crossover it would be fantastic for the career mode but also i don't think they'll ever do it because i think football manager is so successful on its own it wouldn't make sense for them to try and cross over because i think the one thing i want is the tactical manager side of it from football manager but then the gameplay side of it from fc it would make it a lot more enjoyable, but that is the kind of point that Football Manager is almost a simulation game rather than an actual playing football game. You are playing it, but it's simulated, not you playing physically and trying to score the goals. But that's kind of the best ways that you can go with. Obviously, you can just pick your favorite team as well and just ignore the last 13 to 14 minutes. But let me know down below how you do your career mode, if there's any fun ways that you try and do it. Also, just as a one-off uh, suggestion, if EA ever listens 
listen to this suggestion or if you want to uh, go for it. In uh, like the NBA and NFL and all of them modes, they do have an online league. That would be so sick to have a career mode where you, if you did manage to get 20 people in a league to play in each of the teams, that would be so sick. Or even if you could get like a complete like manager mode, like we said with the uh, all of the teams that you can choose, if you could then go and say and make a public lobby and you could go and do that, that would be so sick to have like a full like 100 player league where maybe everybody's playing. You've got X amount of days to do a match. Otherwise, you forfeit it. That would be so sick to try and do if they could do with that online. But again, I feel like I'm wishing for a lot there. But let me know down below how you got on with it. How's your career mode going? And I'll catch you all for the next one.